Howdy folks, hope you're doing well staying safe. We're doing the review of 2024 U2501. This used to be my favorite boat until the I-56 came out and the Gato. Now they've been nerfed, those are no longer my favorite boats. I'm uh, leaning towards the British ones a little bit, so because of the extra battery time. She essentially plays the same way she always did. She's got six torpedo tubes in the front, nothing in the back. That's how a, uh, this type of boat works. She is good at getting caps. This is my co-op game, I think I was testing it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, one more thing that's really weird. Are any of you noticing any issues with WoW stats? They said, I have not played this boat ever. And you're looking at me right now. I'm playing the boat. This was a co-op game. I played some randoms, et cetera, et cetera. I played probably almost 100 games this boat, at least, I think. Anyway, it's weird. But hey, you essentially play it the same. I, I switch between pinging and non-pinging with this boat now. And I'm not worried about planes because these are bots. Um, anyway... Let's get into it. Let's look at it. I'll tell you how she's uh, how I set it up, and I've made one change that I'm really testing. I'm enjoying, uh, especially for bots and randoms. So right off the bat, 19 millimeter. She's paper thin. Don't get hit if you can't avoid it. Uh, survivability 18.9. It's decent as a submarine. It's not great. Sonar six second pings. First one you get on there. 25 seconds. Second one 65 seconds. That's because of some upgrades. I'll get to that in a minute. And of course, the, the pinging torpedoes have a distance of 14 kilometers. But we'll get to that in a minute. Diving capacity. Units are fine, but don't forget, for every one unit you use, only 0.88 get recharged per second. So be, stay on the surface as much as you can. Maneuverability, 28.4 and a 3.4 second rotor shift on the surface. It's really good. Underwater, 28.4. Of course, she's a nuke boat. I'm just kidding. And the rudder shift time, it's still busted in my opinion. And I've got another set of videos I'm testing with that as well. Concealment, 5.6. It's excellent to see. 2 kilometers of periscope depth and, of course, 2.1 for aircraft. So it, it's pretty good. But you got to get down to 30 meters. Here's a change I'm doing. Damage control modification because it gives you an extra plus 40% consumable time. And I only have three charges. So if I do get spotted because I'm aggressive, I can use this and, and basically get away. You could use main arm like I always do. But I'm doing, I'm testing this out because this is what a viewer gave me. And I've been trying it my tier 10s and it seems to work. I also take dive capacity. This is pretty much normal for me. I also take submarine steering gears because, hey, I want to be able to get down, up and down 50% faster. I take bulkhead, obviously, and I take dive capacity modification to help me to get uh, for diving. Torpedoes, homing, 60-second uh, reload, 14 kilometers, 8,600 damage. That can be seen at 2.2 kilometers. Uh, they are fast at 82 knots, but that's this whole nerf thing has really hurt the torpedoes and hurt the subs. Again, 60 seconds, only 8 kilometers. I use these when I see a battleship broadside mostly or a cruiser, and, and I want to destroy them. 1.9. Okay, so you got to fire them strategically and spread them out. Damage control, uh, consumable action time is 7 seconds, but for me, the cooldown time is excellent. Uh, I use this hydrophone to come to the surface to make sure nothing's around me. I have, again, screwed up and doing it too late, and all of a sudden I am kind of come out, my, and I do get detected. Submarine surveillance, Germans are the best in the game, 9 kilometers. Long cooldown time, but it's really worth it. I use this as well, especially if I'm going up against American submarines. They're only 6 kilometers, so it really does help me, and it helps overall. Battery reserve units, you got two of those, and that gives you an extra 30 seconds of battery weight underwater. Here's my flags. These are the two main ones you want to take for submarines as much as possible. And I do take uh, ramming now because you are the last torpedo. <laughs> and it's pissed off a few battleship players already. Uh, standard camo I take with the whole thing. This is what comes to default. As for commander, going to Luntens. I take him. Uh, same as uh, the other built for tier 8. Liquidator because you want to set a flood. I use this one for helmsman with that consumable so that way I can get down quickly when I make a mistake. And yes, I still 50% of the time I'd say I make that mistake because I'm too aggressive. Priority targeting. Uh, Permanent maintenance because you're going to get hit no matter what. You know, it's just a thing. Now, when I do get detected, I want to be have my torpedoes reload 15% quicker because I'm, I'm usually in a bit of trouble. And I will be aggressive and attack once I get underwater. I, I do take consumable specialists for me because that's, that's very important. So I can actually get more consumables. And, oh, sorry. Cool down at 15%. Watchful is one of the most useful skills as a commander in a submarine, in my opinion. I do now start taking improved battery efficiency plus 25% because when I'm below 50%, it helps with charging. So it does help me that way. I'm starting to test this one more and more. And then uh, Adrenaline Rush. You guys know me, I take Adrenaline Rush. All right, so how do you play her? Stay in with me. I go to the left and right flanks. I never take this boat up the middle. If I if I spawn in the middle, I'm going left or right, where I want to do. The first thing I do is I usually hang back a bit, and I start using the long pingy torpedoes uh, to actually look at what I can maybe hit or can't hit like that. And then what I also do is I go up to periscope depth or stay on the surface as much as possible and spot. I really wish the one thing you could do is radio locator with these submarines. It'd be nice, in my opinion. 
And I, I don't think you can do that in captain skills. But for me, I do hang out, and I usually for the first 10 minutes of the match, not in co-op, co-op, I'm very aggressive, it's bots. But in the, in the randos and whatnot, I will take my time, I will scope out that side of the scope, and I will start shooting things. I will avoid Japanese Italian cruisers like the plague because of their anti-submarine. At this rate, they're like over 8 kilometers at tier 10. It's brutal. So I, I avoid that like the plague. But here's how I do it. I just keep going back and forth and keep doing donuts and keep circling. But I do try to stay away. I do sometimes go in reverse underwater. And if I'm not sure about something or something doesn't look good, I don't ping. I dive and get the heck out of there. And that's what I do. I Pretty good survival rate, 50%, I think, with this boat right now. But the survival rates are dropping as you play because it's harder to win in games nowadays. But overall, I still like the boat. It's not my favorite boat anymore, but it, it does pocket punch. I'd say the German line is one of the best lines for submarine consumable because you get nine kilometers on it. The Brits aren't that far behind. But I'm certainly now towards the Brits a bit. That that's who I am and what I do. But anyway, let me know if this is useful for you. Leave a you know, like I would ask you to subscribe and like and all that good stuff because that does help the YouTube's algorithm. And I just passed 133,000 subscribers. I'm blown away. So thank you very much to everybody. But as always, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what your favorite submarine is. I got the Baleo to do next, and that's all the submarines done. I'm looking forward to the Russian line coming out and the Indonesian one, so I can get those right away. But as always, take care, stay safe, wish you all the best, and. Bye for now.